And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Starlet Henchmen, our last meme tier Monday deck. Today we have a deck built around Middenstoke Henchmen. This 5 mana 5-3 five, has Nexus Strike summon an exact copy of me. So we're going to hopefully be trying to strike... Um, you know, strike the opponent's nexus with this card. And so the way that we're planning on doing that is with these three copies of Sumpark's map. So that's our combo, is the henchman with the map. Give the henchman elusive, and then, you know, that's a that's permanent buff of giving it elusive for good. And then whenever it strikes the opponent's nexus, then uh, we get an additional elusive mid and stoke henchman. And so that's what our deck's about, is like the, that uh, two-card combo. And we're filling that in with a whole bunch of Freljord stuff um, because Freljord stuff's pretty good and it's good uh, at just prolonging the game. Uh, we got some good buffs in here as well. <clears throat> um, the other, I haven't, you know, I wasn't exactly sure what to name this. I'm naming it Starlet Henchman. So we have Starlet Seer in here as well. Whenever you cast a spell, grant the top ally in your deck plus one, plus one. Hopefully that's hitting the Mid and Stone Henchman and we can pump up that Henchman a whole bunch with Starless Seer, but then we can also use Omen Hawk and Averroes and Hearthguard to buff up the henchmen as well. Um, besides that, uh, another neat little trick we have in here is a Hextech Transmogulator. We can transform any follower into another follower, so we can transform like our Omen Hawk or anything small, you know, a Trapper or something like that. We can transform those into the elusive Mid and Stoke henchmen and just go crazy with that as well um, we have babbling bjergen here we want someone to draw a unit with five plus power so that will help us find the henchman uh, we'll either draw sejuani henchman or hearth guard with the babbling bjerg that's a, a way to help our combo out and then you know we got good card advantage with the progress day and stuff like that too battle fury is just a really fun um way to finish games if we can you know we can we can combine battle fury with some forks map and make a huge elusive whether it's mid and stoke henchman or anything else um, but of course, if it is a henchman that strikes with the Battle Fury, we'll make another one uh, with that as well. And that's kind of our deck. That's, that's about everything here. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and go give this one a try. Oh, didn't. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the night. No, we didn't go to the lab earlier. We'll go to the lab with this one. This is a good one to go to the lab. All right, the sleeve backs look just fine. And on yip. Okay, so Starlet Henchman. So meme tier Monday means we're gonna play five games in normal instead of playing them in ranked, which is not that much difference. You see a lot of the same kind of decks in normal and ranked, but the uh, when you're in master rank and you're at normal, the, nor the play level is a little lower in normal. And we like seeing our decks be able to do their thing and succeed some. So player meme tier decks over in normal all right we're playing against the deep deck we're going to mulligan the harsh winds and the sentry keep double omen hawk maybe sentry is not so good against deep definitely fine with that mulligan of the sentry oh yeah Omenhawk attacks for one less damage than Starlet than what Starlet Seer does, but um, we get the plus two plus two right away. I'm also doing this because, of course, I'm going to play Trapper here, and I'm thinking that they play the three two life steal. Ah, Thorny Toad. All right, that's fine. I was thinking if they play the three two life steal, then um, I by playing the Omenhawk and not the Starlet Seer, I'd have the one mana to be able to brittle steal that and not. Uh, you know, with this attack. That's what I was thinking there. Will no one listen to yes, henchmen! Henchmen! 
problem is our henchman isn't going to strike them because of the thorny toad. Being all in the way and stuff. So we don't have the elusive card yet, so maybe it's not worth playing that. Maybe we just play Braum, have Braum challenge the thorny toad. There's that 3-2 lifesteal. That we can brittle steal. Keep them from gaining that life. We have 15 spells in our deck. We have drawn we've drawn the one so far. I know I mulliganed a couple. We've just found the one so far. Huh, did they just they just Jaw Hunters the Braum? Henchman's just not gonna hit them. So they gotta have like another vile feast, right? Yeah. Yep, yep. Hey, XY. First time here. Awesome. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, so yeah, this is what I I'm I stream here every day. Legends of Runeterra. Frostbite that there. So yeah, stream stream every day with Legends of Runeterra. Play four different decks every day. Mondays here we have Meme Tier Monday where we play some fun stuff. We're playing some henchmen currently. The previous day, Sundays, is our try-hard day of the Rank Up Sunday. And then the rest of the week, uh, for the most part, we just kind of play four different decks and, and just play a real wide variety of stuff. I put up everything on YouTube and... The YouTube channel is just youtube.com slash hawktie. Um, yeah. Let's go like this. Reel him in. I can Mystic Shot the 7-5 to finish it out. I didn't use the Mystic Shot to like keep my Minnesota Henchman alive or to kill this thing yet. Because they're probably doing that, I would think. Probably. They may just attack first. Ouch. Ouch, that's really too bad. They're out there. I'm gonna just I'll spot them. pay two mana and draw a card. I'd rather draw a card right now than have a 2-1. I think at this point of the game, I'd rather have the extra card. Ready the torches. I think can't survive five damage. That's not the best threat to play on an open open board.
Uh, I don't I don't use any specific decks to climb. Really, I I play we play everything. Yeah, I said like four different things every day. We play just actual everything. There's nothing we don't play. Uh, Keel Breaker was real bad news for us. So those treasures will do. Man. Those treasures are good. Alright, they did play the Lure of the Depths earlier, so their sea monsters cost less, so they could even play Devour the Depths here. So I can Mystic Shot that, and then my Braum doesn't die. But... Yeah, I mean, I guess I should. I'd, you know, replace that, but it's just what is my Braum doing is the question that I don't have the answer to. We hopefully, we hope this is Minso Kenchman on top. No, Trapper. Trapper Keeper. Deep's pretty good. Need to draw like a one progress day, I guess. I mean, just look at all these cards they have in hand. They have a million. Yeah. Of course, we are still friends. That was a good kill breaker. Killing four large units from me. All right, Brahmanivia. So another Brahm deck. Keep these. We're gonna keep this map. Part of our combo. Where are you? Um. Who, who goes there? Do you like them? I do like them having this one one around uh, for my Brom. And <laughs> we can give Brom elusive. That's probably really important. Elusive Brahm. Let us get going. How can Brom end? First we fight. Good luck. Have fun. Doesn't happen very often whenever you cast Braum and your opponent just immediately casts Braum as well. <laughs> we could with the Sumpworks map. We could make Braum elusive. And then, <laughs> I don't, don't think that that would help us too much, but we could. Alright, so our next card is Enraged Yeti because we haven't seen one yet. We know that's our next card.
shield? Show me your best. Mm. Over there. I mean, that, that should be the other way around. But I guess we block. Might as well. Cannot have vengeance with just the six with the six mana. So we're good there. Born for conquest. Let's show our friends the door. Good luck. Have fun. I'm through waiting. Hmm. I th I'm honestly think I'm okay if they have like Grasp the Undying to kill Braum. I think that's okay if that's like what they do with their turn is spend it doing Grasp the Undying. They just had Braum die and that's it. I was worried about Withering Will with attacking with Trapper. Uh, yeah, it's Brahma Nivia, so yeah, they, they play those kind of cards. So now they're not worried about another Mystic Shot? You are safe with Brawl. Was it Grass the Undying? Huh. And they just made a mistake with that attack? I do have the extra two mana right now. I could give... One of these elusive, like the 6-6 six, six elusive right now, while I have the extra two mana. And then I go to combat. I... Nah, we don't do that. Not a good card to draw. Cool. All right, we will challenge here. And attack for a bunch. Obviously, ruination is something that I got to be thinking about. They're not blocking in such a way that they're going to be casting Ruination. Okay, that 
probably means they're not casting Ronation. So... I think I take heart this 4-2 to kill their Braum. Could have dealt like I could have put it on the Starlet Seer and dealt them a little bit more damage. Huh. They did have Fury of the North. Well fought. So now they're gonna have a leveled up Braum. Kind of a mess. Look how we have grown. Kind of a mess. They have a lot more spots to fill up with Braum than what I do. Return to us. I don't want to battle Fury the Starless Seer and kill their Braum. I mean, because it kills it kills Braum and kills the Poro that they would have got. It's it's not enough some forks damage to kill them. I just can only go six wide. We could try to keep going much more wide with these henchmen and everything. Have they played two vengeance or just the one? I guess it's I think they've only played the one. More mighty poros. Help is on the way. Such naivete. Dang. Well, they gotta be out of that card. This is a huge mess. going to end. A new era oh. begins. I think we figured out how this is going to end. For my homeland. Good luck. Have fun. Let's 
Doing two damage to everything. You are safe with Brawl. Stand and defend. This is our homeland. <laughs> so that gets me a new Poro. And then whenever these will hit each other, we'll get a new Poro. Maybe we draw like the elusive card again to go along with the henchmen. And they ran out of removal spells for henchmen. Alright, gives them another Poro. And now Brom's gone. That's his bad news. Elusive. Darn. The War Mother will unite us all. Nothing escapes my way. Alright, looks like they got this. Too many Brahms. And then Anivia. This is what, we killed three Brahms? This is what, the fourth one? I think? I don't remember. It's been a lot of them, that's for sure. We even had our progress day to draw three. We already had that. Fury of the North won my opponent this game. The Them having that card that saved their Braum and leveled up their Braum. I bring the storm. We should be friends. Well, that's a terrible challenge. Oh, I guess I guess they they don't get anything better to challenge. Never mind, because I say because that doesn't give them a poro, but they can't really do any better. Stand and defend. Already played my Battle Fury also. What's that noise? Something need breaking. Hey, we got to do our thing, though. 
We got elusive henchmen. Got to do our thing. Then they just die to the avalanche plus Anivia. Dang, I thought with that Battle Fury that we were going to kill their Braum, you know, whenever we... Is that... No, 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 we had Take Heart. We were going to Take Heart and kill their Braum with the Take Heart. But they had the Fury of the North. Okay, I like these cards. Let's just keep them. Let's keep them. I like how I, I like having Elixir of Iron to protect these, especially protect Starlet Seer. Mystic Shot, perfect answer to Zed. Um, so good, good little hand here. Let's keep this one. Try it out. There's our henchman. Now we just got to find the uh, Sumpworks map. We did get to Sumpworks map henchman at last game, so at least we got to do that before the game ended. That's a plus. I would block it make their blighted caretaker not as good. Took the bait. Without a sound. And that will be our card to uh six shots. You don't actually have to have Light of Caretaker, you know. It can't be. <laughs> come, come this way. We go at one. Fly away while you can. Down to twelve. Darkness. Ah, an auspicious season. My saplings. We're gonna lead with Hearthguard over henchmen. I'm having this four three to block. Question is, should I do it before attacking, or should I just go straight to attacks? Um, if I go straight to attacks, you know, I'm probably not attacking with the Starless Seer, so we attack with these two. And they can block, like, my 5-3, and they only take 3. Not amazing. Maybe we'll draw a Sumpork's map. We have the extra 2 mana. Maybe we will. All right, tough call on what to play next. On their side, it looks like. Okay, pass the turn. That was a tough call. Could have done anything. Our strength is yours. Cool. So the Hearthguard will trade. We'll do 10, put him down to 8. And something's going to be pretty big, our next unit. Oh no, it's an Omenhawk. Right, it's kind of wasted on an Omenhawk. Build your own Enraged Yeti. I guess I... Overwhelm. 
Oh, I... What am I doing? I forget that thing turns into six power. Oh, I need harsh winds. I forget that that thing turns into six power. Or six health. You know, I was thinking like that we we're going to trade it here, and then these are all going to go back into to being two twos again. Oh, I think it goes to six health. Let's not ruffle our feathers. Alright, down to one. At least we were going to force Hecarim to block. It's honestly probably still better than just playing Harsh Winds. So now they, you know, they have to block one of these two, which of course they'll block the henchmen. Kill Hecarim. Put them down to three. Mean. It is enticing to cast Harsh Winds. No, they're... No. No, we can't beat another... We can't beat another Hecarim. Don't try to give him Rekindler. have one really self works map couldn't have had you last turn pledge yourself to the shadows Doing this right now so the zed living shadow will be zero power i mean kind of i mean we're we're dead i mean they just have to attack Dang, 0-3 oh, now? It's like we've been in these games. We've been, you know, three long, good games that we're in these games. Figured it out. That's six point of health. For Hecker on one of that game. Our deck's been that bad. We're just, but we're on three. Got some opponents doing some powerful stuff with their champions. The, you know, all those Brahms forever, and then Anivia just, you know, Anivia is just too difficult to beat, and that for a deck like ours, and then Hecarim is just amazing. Just ran to a couple of amazing champions. Hopefully, not. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again here with Yasuo, so hopefully not like that with Yasuo. Alright, I like that we got some good buffs here. Don't let the fluffy tails fool ya. Hmm. Hmm. Visa is a see all. All right, you got one across. Nothing escapes my watch. I won't stand by. This is a great mystic shot target. This would be a good winter. But of course, I kind of wanted to have two mystic shots to be able to kill Yasuo. Possibly need more PNZ removal spells like uh, Thermogenic Beam. Could be that's what our deck is missing. Death 
Death is like the wind, always by my side. Yeah, like this would have been a great turn to have Thermogenic Beam, that's for sure. You know, gotcha and Thermogenic Beam. Maybe that's what we're missing, because these these champions are just destroying us. Now who's got the other hand? Summon your own speed. Not great. Not great at all. So my plan is I am the blade in the darkness. And it's like hex tech transmogulator turn this. Um, I could turn the turn I could turn the blade twirler into a living shadow so it'd be ephemeral, but then that would level up Zed. turn it into yeah I mean so we'll just have a leveled up Zed Blockers out in front of Elise Zed. I guess if this doesn't work, I'm just dead, but that's alright. Cool. They could have just killed me with that plus three, plus zero. Blessed by snow and stars. Because I'm going down to three. Only the so saved, saved Yasuo over lethal. Yeah, I think we could we need something more powerful than Braum. With our champions too, yeah. I don't. Vi would be better than Braum for sure. Like Vi would be a lot better. The problem with Vi is it's on the five mana spot as well. So like maybe we play Vi and just don't play Everos and Hearth Guard. Like maybe it's just Vi and Henchmen for the five mana cards. And then we play just a different different four mana card and maybe some different you know some removal and stuff like that. Take out Braum and Hearth Guard. These these champions are just are just annihilating us. They are just annihilating us. So last game, I'm gonna try. I'll try changing some stuff up. 
keep the deck list command the same, but like, so what if you just don't play Braum, don't play Hearth Guard, because we can't play that many fives, and play Vi instead. Get some thermogenic beams in here, so we'll get rid of the Brittle Steel. Um, okay. And so we may need more card draw. <clears throat> then with that being the case. We'll play two beam, two progress day. Vi is a lot better at removal as well, right? So now we have Vi, now we have thermogenic beams, now we have like some cards that can be removal. Um, yeah, I don't love Static Shock when since we don't have anything that really pairs it up. Static Shock's amazing whenever you can, or it's a lot better whenever you. I don't know about amazing, but it's a lot better when you ha when you have a bunch of other spells and other things that help Static Shock pair up. But that's not exactly what we have. If that makes sense, and so I'm talking about cards like like Make It Rain and. Um, a card like House Spider that, or like Petty Officer, or um, you know things like that. That's like the multiple bodies that that are a little bit smaller, multiple bodies, but then they can trade up. They you can use Static Shock to trade up. See the Devastian border from here. Sentry's a good one. Uh, I have, yes, Ethereal Wonder. It's been a very long time, but I have. Been a few years. At least that powder keg didn't do anything. At least. We get to save the spell mana anyway. I don't need to just cast Mystic Shot right now. Trapper's not bad. I'll take some 4-4 four, four trappers. Those are pretty good. Going with this, so I'm double spelling instead of just going with Vi. Vi is pretty good too. Yeah, I think I think Vi is the champion that we needed, not Braum the whole time. This is the card we needed during those games. The sun brought got me good. Champion that would be a removal spell for us not just make another 3-3 like our, our deck is pretty good at just making some bodies
All right, well, they got a lot of cards. They got, you know, the, they did the pick of cards. They have a bunch of fleeting cards. So we know these three are fleeting. So that's, oh, that was one of the fleetings. That's a great one of the fleetings. So that's going to trade with Elixir of Iron. It's not bragging if you could back it up. Question is, do I play Vi into Thermogenic Beam or not? Ooh, Probably not. Hurt. I'm gonna pass their three fleeting cards. I guess now I could have played Vi because now. Yeah, now they couldn't beam and kill Vi. Vi stands for vicious. Awesome. Vi yep, exactly. Vi also pairs Vi. with Sumpworks map and Battle Fury, right? You can have a 10-4 Vi and then Battle Fury that and have 18 power with this Battle Fury and then Sumpworks map also. You know, like, you can have an 18 power elusive. So, yeah, Vi gives us another 5 drop that's great with map. So there we go. I think I think that's what we kind of needed. I think that's that's what we saw was the problem with our deck was Braum. Braum wasn't good in our deck, and Vi, like compared to Vi, Vi is just going to be so much better. But unfortunately, with playing Vi, we probably don't have room for the Avros and Hearthguard as well. Um, so trim those for some Thermogenic Beams, and uh, then also we put another Progress Day in here since since we're going with more spells, less bodies got the progress day in there also i think i think that worked out better now obviously we didn't we didn't get to do our cool thing of henchmen with sumpworks map there but i think just over over some long games i think just playing vi is going to be uh vi is going to be a lot better for you i kind of forgot we had this card sejuani you saw this card like what like the very first game i don't think we saw this like any of the other games definitely forgot about this card I guess we did see it against the the Brahma Nivia deck, and we killed a Brahm with it. But we we killed a whole bunch of Brahms. They they had like four of them. This was I guess this was one way that we did kill a Brahm. So there you go. There's a couple of like Vi plus Sejuani gives you a bunch of ways to have some more removal. All right, so there we go. That's Starlet Henchman. Uh, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Uh, feel free to leave those comments. If you got any ideas for next week, Meme Tier Monday, throw them out there in the comment section. And uh, we'll, we'll, I'll get on that for next week. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.